Hello everyone, welcome to the 8th lecture of mass transfer. This lecture is related to uh, diffusion of A through non diffusing B. So, from lecture, this is a quick review of lecture 7. In lecture 7, we have already discussed about diffusion of A through non diffusing B. Uh, we have already discussed there was a beaker, in a beaker, there was some liquid ethanol. liquid ethanol there was some liquid ethanol in a beaker and the ethanol was evaporating the ethanol was evaporating the ethanol was evaporating and it was diffusing through air it was diffusing through air this was air and the air was stationary a stagnant stagnant or stationary the air was not moving it was not the air was not diffusing in ethanol only ethanol was evaporating and it was passing through the air and there was air which was flowing on the top the air is component b suppose it is component b and ethanol is component a ethanol is denoted by component A so the component A was passing through component B component A was passing through component B so the combined flux equation we have already derived the combined flux equation was Na which, which is equal to minus DAB dCA by dz this is the this is the z direction this is the z direction so minus dAB dCA by dz plus the flux due to molecular diffusion plus ya Mole fraction of A into Na mole molar flux of A plus molar flux of B. As B as we have as we know that B is stationary, B is stationary, so this term will be equal to zero. And now this equation will simplify to Na minus Y A into Na is equal to minus T A B D C A by D Z. Now we further simplify it 1 minus y a and 2 minus d a b. Now as we know that d uh, d c a c a b know that concentration can be written for gases the concentration can be written in term of partial pressure for gases we mm, in most cases we use partial pressure o. so from ideal gas law we know that p v is equal to n r t and we know that n by v is concentration so concentration is equal to p by r t and c a is p a by r t concentration of component a is equal to partial pressure of component in a divided by r t it is constant to universal gas constant and constant temperature so it can be written c a can be written is it can is a c a is equal to p a by r t so in this place we can write it d p a by d z d p a by r t so in place of d c a we only write d p a by r t and this is the d z so we can further simplify it n a is equal to minus d a b dPA 1 minus YA into RT by DZ change in partial pressure with respect to Z direction so this is the Z direction this is the this is this is also the Z direction as the Z direction changes the partial pressure also changes so partial pressure of A also changes as the Z direction changes so 
this is all about the molar flux and the total flux of component A. Now we know that we also now we also know that partial pressure of A is is equal to the total pressure partial pressure of A divided by total pressure of A and B is equal to mole fraction of A. So P A is equal to Y A into total pressure. It can be one atm or some other or uh, one bar or some other pressure so in place of PA we can write DAB total pressure DYA RT 1 minus YA into DZ so this is molar flux so molar flux is a function of the uh, concentration or mole fraction molar flux is a function of mole fraction of a so it can be further written it is minus d a b p r t d z d y a and integration now the integration of this term can now this can also be written is dya this is the above term we have written the above term now we can integrate it suppose dz in a the dz term occur to come to this side and this is minus dab total pressure divided by r t dya 1 minus y a so we can integrate from z1 to z2 at z1 the mole fraction of a is y a at z is equal to z1 suppose at z is equal to z1 this is the z at z is equal to z1 y a is equal to y a1 y a is equal to y a1 similarly suppose this is z2 this is z2 at z is equal to z2 y a is equal to y a2 y a2 at z is equal to this is at z is equal to z1 y a is equal to y a1 at z is equal to this is the z direction at z is equal to z2 y a is equal to y a2 so we can integrate from z1 to z2 and we uh, we uh, we are interested to find uh, how the concentration how the mole fraction of a changes in this place from z1 to z2 so it can be written is n a z1 to z2 integral from z1 to z2 into dz is equal to minus d a b c by r t and t y a by 1 minus y a now when z is equal to z1 y a is equal to y a1 when z is equal to z2 y a is equal to y a2 now we can further simplify this equation by n a by n a n a into z1 z2 dz is equal to minus d a b d a b c by r t into d y a minus y a from y a 1 y a 2 mole fraction of a at z 2 at z 1 mole fraction of a at z 2 y a 2 so we can only apply the integral 
एन ए जी टू माइनस जी वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस डी ए बी पी आर पी एन एल एन वन माइनस वाई ए दिस इज पॉजिटिव बिकम पॉजिटिव एंड अप्लाई द लिमिट वाई ए वन वाई ए टू सो इट इज डी ए बी पी आर पी एल एन वन माइनस वाई ए टू वन माइनस वाई ए वन विच इज एन ए जी टू माइनस सी वन एंड एन ए इज इक्वल टू डी ए बी पी आर टी जी टू माइनस जी वन एल एन वन माइनस वाई ए टू वाई ए वन दिस इज शो दैट मोलर प्लक्स इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वाई ए मोल प्रक्शन ऑफ ए सो बट दट इज नॉट लीनियर फंक्शन मोलर प्लक्स ऑफ ए इज समिक फंक्शन ऑफ वाई ए सो वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट इट वाई ए वन प्लस वाई ए टू इज इक्वल टू वन वी कैन ऑल्सो रिटर्न एट वाई ए टू वाई ए टू प्लस वाई बी टू इज इक्वल टू वन वाई ए वन वाई बी वन वाई बी वन इज इक्वल टू वन सो वन माइनस वाई ए टू इज इक्वल टू वाई बी वन डी ए बी इन टर्म ऑफ आर टी बी टू माइनस जी वन एल एन वन माइनस वाई ए टू वन माइनस वाई ए टू माइनस वाई ए टू वाई बी वन माइनस वाई ए टू इज इक्वल टू वाई बी टू वाई बी टू वन माइनस ए वन माइनस वाई ए वन इज इक्वल टू वाई बी वन द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ कंपोनेंट बी एट प्लेस वन एंड द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ कंपोनेंट बी एट प्लेस टू एट जेड इज इक्वल टू जेड टू एंड दिस इज द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ बी एट जेड इज इक्वल टू जेड वन एंड दिस इज द टोटल प्लक्स ऑफ ए सो द टोटल प्लक्स ऑफ ए इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वाई ए एंड वाई बी फंक्शन ऑफ मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ए एंड बी इट कैन ऑल्सो बी फंक्शन ऑफ ए एंड बी एंड इट्स ग्राफ इज नॉट लीनियर बट द ए बट द ए इज बट इट इज अ लीनियर फंक्शन हो थैंक्स